Hello, sports fans, sports better, and YouTube Nation. John here with the Rigget Picks at work. Uh, it's been a stupid, brutal morning, but um, it is what it is. It's all good. Um, life, sometimes the life just slaps you right upside the freaking face, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, pretty rough night last night. Um, pretty rough day yesterday in sports betting. Pretty rough night last night uh, with the little one, but, um, you know, as a father, you do what you do. Um, me, and, me and the wife had a pretty rough night, but... Um, there, there will be rough evenings, so you just you just carry on, and uh, that just is what it is. I was gonna get some soccer picks out, but by the time it, I was so tired that uh, you know I was getting a little irritated, and, and and I shouldn't I shouldn't get irritated with life, but sometimes sometimes a guy does. Um, is what it is. Uh, just carry on, carry on, strive forward, wake up, and do your best. That's all you can do in life. So we're right back here. Uh, quick recap yesterday. Um, I had a soccer parlay that I, I, that I put out, um, where the games went off early, so I put them out on the Discord, and uh, it ended up hitting. Um, I put out a boom alert on the Discord last night, the Florida Panthers. They got the job done. Um, my free YouTube play was the Philadelphia Flyers on the three-way over the Sabres. The Philadelphia Flyers' defense is terrible. Um, I would highly suggest playing a lot of flyer overs because they're going to score a lot. They're also going to give up a lot of goals. They gave up four goals to the Buffalo Sabres. Imagine what a team can do that can actually score like the Islanders. I mean, the final score of that game is going to be like 10-9. to nine. Um, Crazy. But um, that was a loser. And, and I did tread lightly, and I did mention in my video that the Flyers' defense made me a little leery. And they did. And they killed me. I was on the Tampa Bay puck line over the Detroit Red Wings. Um, Detroit's a scrappy team. They just they hang in there and they fight and they claw and they scratch. Tampa Bay's, I thought, was a really good team, but um, I don't know. It seems like the good teams are showing up against the good teams and they're taking the night off against the other teams, so something to watch. There's only a couple teams that are starting to separate themselves as a good team. Every time they hit the ice, they're going to be good. The Minnesota Wild and the Vegas Golden Knights they play each other tonight, so um, that's going to be a great game. Another one, um, maybe the under. Um, I got to see goalies, though. I got to see goalies. Um, I had the Caps um, on the three-way over the Devils. They had a good commanding lead, was playing good, and then just boom, boom, gave it up. Uh, that went into overtime. And then I had the Gonzaga Bulldogs first half minus seven and a half over BYU. Gonzaga was down 12 at the half. They ended up winning the game by 10. Uh, did not cover once again. Uh, it makes me question how good is Gonzaga? Because they played people at the beginning of the season, played teams that were good, and they did good. And then we get to the back half of the season, and they're not playing good. They should they should be blowing these teams up. And I don't know how much of it is cat and mouse and how much of it is, you know, Gonzaga's taking the night off waiting for the tournament. Um, but they were up against the wall last night. So, you know, a losing day. I hate it. I'm carrying on. We're going into today, which is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. We're going NCAA basketball. Um, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting away from hockey. There's some games tonight. I don't like them. And I know I've rambled on way too much about life and, and, and other stuff, but uh, that happens. But we're going to go Army and Loyola, Maryland in this one. Um, right now, Army on the uh, money line this game goes off at 2 30 p.m um betting number is 307106 and 307105 that's the game numbers uh, right now army on the money line is 160 and uh, that's kind of where my head is right now i like it um 67.8 percent of the people are on army um that's what all, uh, a lot of the analytics tell me um, both these teams come in um, averaging 72.4 points per game for Army, 72.5 for Maryland. Army has a little better defense. They're only giving up 69.3 points. Um, Loyal Maryland's giving up 70.5 points. Um, both these or Army has won three of their last five. Uh, Loyal has only won two of their last five. These teams, I, I think they're very well matched up together. Um, the spread is three. And, and I think it's going to be a little closer than that. But I think at the end of the day, Army has a better shot to win this game. Um, just to get some a little more stats on this. Um, I had them somewhere. Apologize, I was looking at a completely different game. There we go. So, 
Um, it looks like the line opened up maybe around one and a half and it's jumped to three. A lot of people are backing Army in this one. Loyal, Mar Loyal Maryland is five and ten on the season. Army's twelve and eight. Um, if you look at at, at, at stats, um, home for Army seventy two point four points per game. Um, they're giving up sixty six point four. So they play better defense at home than they do overall, which is normal, typical with any college basketball team. You know, remember these guys are kids. They like being at home. They like being in familiar territory. You know, maybe they get to see their girlfriend if they're at, you know, at home, playing at their, their own college, whatnot, and what have you. But, um, you know, Army's a totally different, you know, breed of people. Um, you know, little military background, myself, and, you know, these guys, are they're headstrong. They're headstrong. They're not going to let a lot affect them. So, I think Loyola comes into Army today. They get beat. Army takes care of business. And um, at the end of the day, we're winners. So, I'm going to drop one unit on it. Um, right now it's sitting at minus 160, so it is a little steep, but like, like I said, I don't so much like the spread. You know, I might lean Loyola plus three, but I think it's, you know, at the end of the day, Army's going to win, and they have the capability to come in and win this game by, by eight or nine points. So I'm not going to take the plus three. I'm just going to take the money line and lay the extra juice, and that's going to be your official Ricketts um, hardwood pop pick for this day is going to be Army on the money line to beat Loyola. The Greyhounds are going down. The Black Knights are going to prevail. If you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, turn notifications on. You'll get the videos as soon as they drop. Give me a big old thumbs up if you appreciate true free daily sports betting advice each and every single day. I promise it is a little late. This game does start, you know, in a few hours. But I will have a pick for you guys each and every single day. Um, sometimes it'll be later than others, just depending on what goes down. But, you know, family first with me always. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.